You want to tell us what we're going to do today? Um, we have to tell it right now. Stop it. That's time lapse. I'm doing this one here. Oh, that one? Yeah. Oh. Um, right now, I'm going to go down and see if there's a spring over on the other side. Back there, to see if it's still running like I saw the other day. Um, hopefully, we're going to be able to repair and find out if there's a blockage or something back in this spring and get it taken care of. Um, but today, before the rains come, hopefully this next week, because there's like a 30, 40, 50 percent chance all week after today, um, we're going to put cement around and seal up the developed spring at because it's dry. And be hopeful that it works again. That's what we're going to do. So we'll remove that, fix that. Um, big mess up on top in the cisterns. Big mess in that cistern down there. But um, I'm going to go check out the spring. Hopefully a spring that's 24-7, 365. So this is where our other pump was or is that uh, it's damp down there, but there's you put no down there. Water coming out at all. I guess if we dug it out some or something, that's going to require clearing out the grapevine. That's going to require clearing out all the brush, which was our plan anyway. That one's damp up in the section where I cleared it out. Little baby gold. Gold, gold, yep. It's not coming in from down below. Maybe that's just left over. No, just come on, come and look over here. This one's not even damp like it was the other day. Yep. No dampness. Well, there's dampness, but there's no standing water. Well, this is dry. We could seal this off. Yep, it's possible. Is that water in there level with the pond? Is it just uh, seeping in from there, you think? This is not into the pond, so there's no way the water could be coming back. You know what I mean? What was that? What? That whatever it was that's running underneath here. I don't know. Lizard. Ugh. Braid myself. Throw it further out. this area closed. Stop moving now.
This is like a hole they either made or was already here for a basin. It's coming in from here. It's gotta be coming in from lower than that because this is above. There's the a water crack level. right here, I think. This is above water level. So it's just pond water then. Coming in from under here. Yep, it's leaking from underneath it. Yep. So this is not viable. Nope. Unless it came from up back here. It didn't. Because it's not. There's a bug running out from down there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is not viable, so we'll just have to keep working. So you can see the water's coming from the pond mm -hmm. this way. Okay. Anything up that way? It's moist. I guess they probably started there. I mean, it's muddy all the way this way, but... Is that a rock at the bottom down there? Yep. Rock all around. So that's coming in from underneath. This one, this one digs better. Let me come across this one. Sure it ran at one time.
What'd you say? No, I have not. Start the pump. In here? Mm -hmm. Leave it, just fill it up and. Good job. Do what? Good job on making the pump go into a container. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so let's raise this up. We ha I have a stick here to. Actually, what we need to do is we're going to take it off. But what I'd like you to do first is go down, ride the thing down. We don't have to take it off, we can just lift it up. Because I'm not. I'm sit inside of it. Just lift it up and just start there. Can we first go take care of that before we do anything here? Right on down there. Put yes. it in there, let it set, and then let it kill the bacteria, and then we will drain it. Okay.
Okay. Get some bleach. What? Okay. All right. Let this do its thing for a little bit. Thinking. Well, I will help you lift it off. I think we should go backwards. Yes, you are. My non-running spring. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, isn't it? Yeah. Warm as my heart. Okay, so give you kind of recap where we're at. That's the pipe there. That's the inlet that goes to our pipe. Okay, he's gotten most of our dirt out. We actually did clean this out pretty good last year. Well, as good as we could when the water was flowing. Yeah, exactly. And I should just finish and get in the last of what we can get out of here. There's a, uh, a spot right here. Don't don't dig out anymore there, please. Um, there's a spot right there that we had to put some uh, clay right. against so that the water wouldn't go through. Move back. So it was still running. Through. Yep. And that stopped the water from coming out there. We just kind of uh, try to open this up a little bit more, see if there's any kind of blockages. Couldn't find anything. We had that little metal um, strap. Right. We were able to get back uh, between four to six feet in different places. Here's a little buttress here that keeps this wall kind of in place. But we're still having, if you remember some of the previous videos, um, right in the middle of the spring here we're having a uh, leakage coming from this area here so it leaks from there into there makes its way down if it's rising up comes out up here goes out down there so we're going to concrete all this in all this area here just to uh, stop that leak and we can actually hold more water and then we need to do um, a little bit more down here in this end now that it's dry Kelly, try and take a little bit more out of there.
I mean, it will start flowing again when the rains come, and we'll be able to bridge the gap, but we got to figure out if we can make this spring a year-round spring by going back or, I don't know, pounding down on the top. We have been researching dousing, and so we'll do some of that. See if that's helpful at all. Um, I don't know. We got to figure something out. If if all else fails, it's called well time. Great water. Our friends have a well. She went down over 300 feet and has 30 gallons per minute coming out. So we just didn't want to do anything that we were going to require um, a lot of energy to pump the water out. 300 feet down. Yeah, I mean, the goal was to have free, uh, you know, like a, uh, what do you call uh, it? Alluvial spring? No. Is that what it's called? No, art artesian. 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 So that uh, we had our water coming out of the ground without us having to do any kind of pumping. So. But they say the most important thing is when you're looking for a spring to search during this time when it's the driest. August, September, driest time. So. And we bought the property in June, and we came and looked at the property from November until June when we purchased it, and this was always running. It stopped last year for about a week and a half, and that was it, and then it started back up, so we were able to just haul in some water at that time, and at that time we should have come down and concreted in, but we had so much other stuff going on. Well, I did, because well, yeah, we, we, we had a small... Um uh, spring that was coming through here, but it was going down here and then going out. So I built this this ledge here so that it directed the water to our uh, exit pipe over there. But we had, I mean, when it quit running, which was last September, we had only been living on the property less than a month. So we had so much stuff to do up top with the solar and the the house and our trailer and everything else that we didn't have time to handle this and then it's well we would have had time had it not rained in a week or two so but this is the longest we've had it not run it's been what five over weeks a month. yeah over a month five weeks maybe and uh so and time. we also learned that we don't want to use bullfrog pond yeah and that spring down there that they have even though the guy we bought the property from said this never dries up, it doesn't dry up, but in order to use it as water, it would take so much work and we do not want to ever have to shock and fix our cisterns again. Yeah, it would take tons of filtration to make that work, uh, even more than what we've got here. So That's not viable. So it sounds like well time if we can't come up with a different solution for here. But here's what we can do. We can run this as our water for as much of the year as we can. And even though it's expensive to put in a well, at least we would have water when this dries up because I don't really want to pump it up from the well. Because of the energy it takes and being on solar. Okay, let's back up here. You want to speak? 
Um, I hope this works. That's all I got to say. Show everybody what you just said. Because I am not a concrete woman. I don't know anything about it. This is the side, though, that we need to hold because this is our drain or our pipe that goes to our lower cistern, and here's the overflow. And so this was a hole that let a lot of our water run out before it made it this high. So that was a problem. And then on this side, I went ahead and uh, added concrete up to about the middle of the rock there. That's pretty much just to make sure the wall doesn't fall in. Yeah, well, yeah, as, as the water continues to flow through out there, through there, of... it will continue to erode the wall. So yeah. that will stop that. And then did this piece over here. For that corner as well. Get down a little bit here, you can see it a little better. And then it overflows over the top of this anyway. And then over here, yeah, the light. It was overflowing from uh, through the rock over there too. So anyway, there's the where the water comes from. We again. hope. Well, hope. it will. It will. It will again. When the rain comes. But. Yep. Okay. Signing off from down at the spring. Now we got to go over to the other uh, cistern, which is right. down there. Where is it? Down there somewhere. And then we're going to uh, go ahead and turn on the pump, drain that tank, or put some chlorine in it. Chlorine bleach to shock that, kind of clean out the tank before we drain it, and then uh, we'll go from there.